Welcome, race fans, to the beautiful Macoupin County Fairgrounds in Carlinville, Illinois. On this episode of Mud Truck TV, we present the SCS Gearbox Open Class Shootout. Sanctioning and timing provided by Wild Country Mud Racing. The drivers are ready, the machines are tuned, and they're ready to do battle in this 200 foot of Illinois soil. It comes your way next on Mud Truck TV. Great weather on tap for today's race, the SCS Gearbox Open Class Shootout. To the line now, our first veteran driver, Sam Lambasio. 200 foot of Illinois soil waiting for these drivers to see who comes out on top. Sam Lambasio to the line, getting locked and loaded and ready. Checking the gauges, locked and loaded, here we go. Looking for the green light that says it's time to go racing. Off the line, nice and straight, Sam Lambasio, a time of 3.323, getting us underway here on the SCS Gearbox Open Class Shootout. The Mud Truck Television slow motion replay. Getting you up close and personal with a race action. That'll bring up Sean Barber. Our next competitor. A fine looking machine, I always say it every time this man comes to the line. One of the most unique dragsters in the sport. Sean Barber. Doing the rollout, backing up now, getting ready to get locked and loaded. Last checks on the machine. Getting the OK, good to go sign from the teammate there. Sean Barber headed to the line now. Ready to sling some dirt in the SCS Gearbox Open Class Shootout. Here we go. A nice run of 2.181 for Sean Barber. That's how you get it done, ladies and gentlemen, right there. Lifts the tires and away he goes, nice and straight down the track, 200 foot. And a 2.181 on the run for Sean Barber. That's gonna bring up Lionel Parker to the line. Mud Truck Television presenting the SCS Gearbox Open Class Shootout. If you'd like to find out more of what we do, go to our website, mudtrucktv.com. And away he goes, drips a bit to the left, lets off, gets back in it. A time of 3.238 for Lionel Parker on the pass. You see the car there in the slow motion replay take off to the left. Great job of driving right there for Lionel Parker. Still a good time on the run of 3.238. Up next to the line, it's Chris Hebner. The SCS Open Class Shootout in Carlinville, Illinois. The Macoupin County Fairgrounds, the place to be. And away he goes down the track, 200 foot of Illinois soil. A great time for Chris Hevener. a 3.774. Again, we slow it down for you, the instant replay. Not quite good enough to best Sean Barber's 2.181, but still a nice pass here on Mud Truck Television. Be sure and check out our friends at RacingJunk.com, the world's number one motorsports marketplace where you can buy, sell, check out the forum, the business directory, and so much more. It's RacingJunk.com. Up next to the line in the car known as High Strung, it's Barney Hall here on Mud Truck TV. 
Lock and loaded. The time to beat, of course, that 2.181 put down by Sean Barber. Here we go. Hooking up good off the line, Barney Hall, a time of 2.581 on the pass. Nice and straight, as good as it gets right there. Great job of driving that machine from one end of the uh, track to the other. This 200 foot of Illinois soil. Barney Hall here on Mud Truck TV. Up next, a fierce veteran driver, Dan Richter. In the Richter scale, blown alcohol, dirt dragster. Final check on the equipment from the teammate here for Dan Richter. Shield down, safety in place, here we go. Dan Richter coming to the line. As we always say, get ready, get set, race fans. It's time to go racing here on Mud Truck TV with Dan Richter and the Richter scale. Fires up in the air and he is gone. Ladies and gentlemen, a 2.071 for the Richter scale. Besting the national record right there at 2.087, the national record. Dan just put it down right there at 2.071. When he dropped the pedal of that horsepower, he was gone. Let's go now to Gary Baker standing by in the pit area with Dan Richter. Hey, Brian. I'm here with Dan Richter of the Richter scale. Dan, I've been watching you for years running this car, and I'll tell you what. You've come up with some tune-ups and some stuff, and this thing's running hot. Now you've got this thing going. Uh, you guys have done a good job. What can you contribute some of this stuff to? Well, we appreciate that, Gary. And uh, as you know, we've been running a long time with you and, and with everybody else in, uh, in the area. And, and uh, it's basically the best thing to do is just learn from experience. Uh, we started, you know, we started getting bigger motors, bigger motors. We start getting into going from transmissions, from automatics, going from uh, power glides to a clutch assemblies. And, and uh, frankly, since I've gone to uh, the SES box, especially the twin idler here, uh, helps the adjustment on the big power. You can't have the big power without being able to get it to the ground. And that, that's been helping us a bunch. Well, I'll tell you what, you put out big power. You've got the speed going and the ease and the, the selection you've got with the SCS box. It, uh, it really makes it nice for our sport to be able to get into the gear ratio that we need and to take the power and the way we can hook these cars to the ground now. Well, and that's a lot to do with it. I mean, uh, unfortunately, if you got too much power and you get it on the starting line, just like if you're in the Kentucky mud and you try to get out of a wet spot, you can't. And so we've got the options with the SCS to put, uh, you can do stall with it, you can put weight on the fingers, you can have the clutch slip longer so it goes in gears later, you know, so you can get those big RPMs at the end and the tires are hooked up. And you don't have to worry about tearing the gears out of that thing. Well... I'll tell you what, it's been a pleasure watching you scream this thing down. Well, I appreciate it, Gary. Got this thing really going. You guys done a good job. And uh, Brian, SCS Gearbox, way to get those ratios in. Back to you, buddy. Thank you so much, Gary Baker, and congratulations. A fantastic run again to Dan Richter. That's going to bring up our next veteran driver, Dave Hempling. An Army veteran served 14 months in Iraq. Dave Hempling and the blown alcohol dirt dragster known as Psychotic. Of course, that time to beat a 2.071. You just saw it put down by Dan Richter in the Richter scale. Dave Hempling is going to see if he can get it done. In Psychotic, making his way to the starting line, looking for the green light. And away he goes. Nice and straight again, a 2.594, very quick run for Dave Hempling here on Mud Truck TV. Slow it down for you once again, the instant replay up close and personal with these blown alcohol dirt dragsters in Carlinville, Illinois. Up next, it's Bob Dunham, Rolling Thunder. 
The name of this blown alcohol, Dirt Drags through part of the SCS Gearbox Open Class Shootout. Macoupin County Fairgrounds, Carlinville, Illinois. 200 feet of battleground. And Bob Dunham ready to take it on in Rolling Thunder. And he dropped the pedal, gone again. A fast time for Bob Dunham, a 2.340 on the run. For Bob Dunham, Rolling Thunder. A great time, 2.340 for Bob Dunham. Not quite good enough to take away that 2.071, but still a fantastic pass. That'll bring up Brad Carinder. Next to the line. The time to beat again, that 2.071, here we go. Throwing some dirt right there at 2.707 for Brad Carinder. Let's go now to Gary Baker standing by with our good friend Dan Brown here on Mud Truck TV. Hey Brian, I'm here with a good, good friend of mine. It's been years, Dan. It's great seeing you again, buddy. I see you, Gary. I'll tell you what, people. This man's won blown alcohol racing with NMRO. You've seen him on Trucks and Tractor Power. He's supported and pushed the Power Pro team. And uh, I'll tell you what, Dan, in a day, you've won some big races. Uh, you, there, there's nobody that was any faster than you were back in the day. And uh, it was always a lot of fun, uh, the racing we did back in the 90s. Yes, Gary, you know, it's been 15 years, 12 years since I sat in a blown car, went asphalt racing after I quit, uh, mud racing in 2002, and uh, by gosh, I miss it, I really do, you know, for 20 years we chased points all over the world, I had a lot of good friends, still have a lot of good friends we t stay in touch with them, them days, uh, but what we're doing here at this local fairgrounds now is uh, I'm trying to bring something back to the sport. You know, I traveled uh, several hundred miles to get to the closest race, and now I got one in my back door and don't have a race car, so I'm kind of getting itchy and wanting to, to build one again. I know I can get a Power Pro chassis. I'd okay. be ready to build you one anytime, buddy. I'll tell you what, what you're doing here is great. You and your brother, I've known you for years and years, and you and Randy have been in this stuff for as long as I can remember. And I'll tell you what, you guys have done a nice job here in this town and uh, to, to get this track uh, set up for this horsepower. Well, guys, we... Unfortunately, we've all been on tracks that we know that we don't like, okay? And we try to do our best here. The local fair board supports us 150%. We've got a good facility here. I think it's as safe as it can be for what we've got. We've got these horsepower cars turning a little over two seconds and 200 feet. Man, that's flying, okay? We're trying to get the local people to know what this is all about. Everybody, we, everybody that's ever watched blown cars run, they think it's the best thing. They'll always come back. We just got to get enough people to know about it. And that's our, that's our challenge here right now. With this well, we, we, we thank you for doing that and bringing it into town. And uh, I'll tell you, uh, you, you, you support it with money, uh, doing the work. Uh, I'll tell you, you're, uh, you've always been a blessing to this sport, Dan, and we can't thank you enough. People, Dan Brown. Brian, back to you. Thanks so much, Gary Baker and Dan Brown. Here on Mud Truck Television, that takes us now to Joel Coolidge. Our next veteran competitor to the line, the SCS Gearbox Open Class Shootout. Going down here at the McCoupin County Fairgrounds in Carlinville, Illinois, that time to beat. Laid down by Dan Richter in the Richter scale, that 2.071. That's the time that Joel Coolidge will be chasing. As he drops the hammer, here we go. Up, up, and away goes Joel Coolidge. A fantastic time, a 2.219. A very fast run as you see the tires up in the air standing on the wheelie bar. Great job of racing right there from Joel Coolidge. That'll bring up Jesse Schuerman. Sizing up this 200 feet of fun right here in Carlinville, Illinois. Jesse Schuerman. Look out. It's time to go racing. 
Up in the air he goes, a bit to the right, lets off, gets back in at a great run, a 3.270 for Jesse Schuerman. You see it right there. Car starts to the right. A great job of driving. Jesse sets it back down, lines it up, and turns it into a 3.270. We'll be back right after these words from our sponsors. Welcome back, race fans, to Mud Truck Television. What an exciting race it has been up until this point and moving forward. There's still more to come. The SCS Gearbox Open Class Shootout here on Mud Truck Television. And I tell you what, folks, I've got something right now for you that you're not going to want to miss out on, that's for sure. How would you like a chance to win the ultimate off-road machine from our friends at ExtremeTerrain.com? This Jeep dubbed Project Trail Force features over $24,000 worth of aftermarket parts. Valued at over $73,000, this 2015 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon will be given away to one lucky winner at this year's SEMA show. A fantastic interior decked out with rugged ridge grab handles, seat covers, and floor mats. Don't forget about the three and a half inch rock crawler lift kit that includes long arms and coilovers for great on-road handling and off-road performance. And Rip Centrifugal Supercharger System adds power to pack that extra punch. And guess what? It could be yours at this year's 2015 SEMA show. To find out more, official rules, and to enter, log on today, extremeterrain.com. Good luck. Let's go now to Gary Baker standing by at the PRI show to talk more about safety. Hey, Brian. We're here at the PRI. I'm here with the head of the Arclitex bog series and we're here with Dave with Zimp Helmets and safety, safety, safety is something that you've been on top of here and it, they've got just some nice products here that you've been showing me and let's let's tell the people a little bit about them. Absolutely, well Gary we've always we, we are the premier leading mud bog series as far as what our safety uh, requirements are concerned as far as the trucks, drivers, uh, spectator distances and such. And we're here with Dave Zampian with Zamp Racing Products. He's developed a head and neck restraint device that is fully adjustable that fits more than one, one size guy. You know, we have racers from 250 pounds, 300 pounds to 190 pounds. And the product that he's come up with is fully adjustable. You don't have to go in to try it on. It's very cost effective. And for 2014, our racing series will be going to a head and neck restraint device uh, for all of our racers uh, out there. And when we uh, spoke with Dave with, with this product, it is so functional for what we do in our sport that we just had to get them on film and show everybody what his products is about. Well, I'll tell you what I see looks good. Dave, can you can you show us what sure. we've got here? Well, the, it'll show right here the revolving picture of the whole system together. But if I show you in the components one at a time, I can show you the adjustability involved. So basically, you're going to be able to adjust the, the six pieces in multiple different ways. But one is going to be the width. You'll be able to adjust the back support and the width. And it's a matter of uh, four screws. You'll also be able to adjust the uh, arm angle. So basically, sorry, arm angle can change into four different positions here. We will also be able to adjust the arm length. So you're going to be able to adjust up, down, both on the inside and outside. So it really offers the most uh, adjustability of any head and neck restraint out there. Um, you can see it right here. Basically, it's going to have a fastening system, which is very simple too. Um, one hand, and you can be, put it on. One hand, take off too. It's very simple. See how it mounts to the, to the uh, helmet. Um, if you have an SIH helmet, you're just going to use the M6 screw and insert straight into the shell. If you have a pre-drilled helmet, you're going to want to use the backing plate. Put the backing plate between the EPS and the uh, shell, and then screw into that. Um, here you can see the the movement too. We got significant movement in the back, which allows you to go side to side, but doesn't jeopardize the, the frontal impact of, of, of the helmet. Well, that's awesome, Dave. That's that, that's a nice unit you've got there, and especially as adjustable as it is, you can pass it down to your kids as they step up and uh, let you work on the vehicle, and they take over the driving. Brian, back to you. Thank you so much, Gary Baker and friends right there from the PRI show. 
That's going to bring up our last competitor, Lance Whitaker. The SCS Gearbox Open Class Shootout. Okay. Nice looking Lance Jeep Whitaker right there, Lance Whitaker. The time to beat that 2.071, here we go. Off the line, nice and straight, bounces just a bit. Lance Whitaker at 3.559 on the run. You talk about one fast Jeep, you're watching him right there, Lance Whitaker, on Mud Truck Television, the SCS Gearbox Open Class Shootout. You can literally see the dirt fly piece by piece off of the tires with all that horsepower right there. You see it, Lance Whitaker, and that 3.559. Great job. And your final results, the SCS Gearbox Open Class Shootout. Dan Richter takes home the win with that 2.071, followed by Sean Barber, Joel Coolidge, Bob Dunham, and rounding out your top five, it's Barney Hall with that 2.581 on his pass. Let's go down to Gary Baker standing by with our winner, Dan Richter, and the Richter scale that 2.071, faster than the national record. Here's Gary. Hey, Brian, I'm here with a winner. Tonight, run faster than the national record, 2.071. That was a pretty quick pass, Dan. It was a beautiful pass. It picked the wheels up, and you were gone. You had a perfect tune-up on that car, and it looked like the track took everything you had to throw at it. Yeah, we set this thing up thinking that the track was going to hook, and, uh, and uh, we got lucky. And uh, that was the fastest pass of my career, that's for sure. Well, I'll tell you what. I've watched you over the years. You guys have worked hard, and you, uh, you've you got this car really working. You've got it fine-tuned in. You've got it really working on these tracks, and uh, congratulations. There's not a whole lot of people's running the two O's, so, uh, you know, you're part of an elite group, and uh, congratulations again, and a nice win today. Well, I appreciate that, Gary, very much. Thank you. All righty, folks. Hey, you've seen it here on Mud Truck TV, 2.071, Dan Richter, Richter scale. Brian, back to you. Thank you so much, and again, congratulations to this man right here, Dan Richter, and the Richter scale one more time here on Mud Truck Television, the 2.071 for Dan Richter and the Richter scale here at the SCS Gearbox Open Class Shootout on Mud Truck Television. Dan Richter and the Richter scale. Be sure and check out our website, racefans at mudtrucktv.com. Find out all about the show, all about the events going on around the country. Of course, Brian and Lisa Austin, that's us. We're going to be there as well. Mud racing news from around the sports, around the country. Great celebrity interviews all over Hollywood. Free music videos for everyone. And so much more right there, all in one spot, mudtrucktv.com the only real television show all about the sport of mud racing and off-road fun. Then check out our friends at Power Pro Racing Products. Of course, pros that know, choose Power Pro. Award-winning and race-winning chassis. Quick change transmissions from SCS Gearbox. All your favorite products that you'll need to be the next champion on the track at PowerProRacingProducts.com. That'll take care of this edition of Mud Truck Television Race Fans. We'll see you at the races.